what's up? This is Rockman. Today I'm Passport King. We are in San Diego. And we are going to um, first go to Coronado Island. And then later on tonight, we're going to go hang out in the Gaslamp District. Engage. Travel is my passion. 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 PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel enthusiast and travel business owner who makes videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations while letting you know how you can get started in the $8 trillion travel business for yourself. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Password Kings and ring the bell so you'll be the first in to know when I upload new content. San Diego has taken a place in my heart as if I ever moved to the West Coast, this is where I would live. Even though the skyline rivals most big cities, you will almost get an island feel. San Diego consistently has sunny weather and 70 miles of magnificent coastline and it draws the active types and sun seekers alike to San Diego throughout the year. San Diego is known for mouth-watering Mexican cuisine, thriving nightlife, and one of the country's favorite zoos. And then there are the beaches. Mission Beach, La Jolla, and Coronado. With so many hotels to choose from, it was hard to pick the perfect spot. We wound up going with the West End. It had a shuttle from the airport and from the map view of rocklandland.intellitravel.com, I saw it was right in the center of everything. It was an excellent selection because it was only a few blocks from the gas lamp district and the ship ports. And for me, nothing beats walking distance. Speaking of walking distance, a lot of people use one of their days in San Diego to take a cab down to the border and walk into Tijuana, Mexico for a day. Just make sure you have your passport with you because you will have a hard time getting back into the country when your Mexican exploration is over. We were also close to Balboa Park, Little Italy, and Pacific Beach. Some people ride the trolley slash train through the city. This form of transportation is slick and smooth. It will get you from one part of the city to another in no time. Just make sure you are not waiting for a loud sound that the train is coming. This thing is silent. When it comes to ports, I have seen a lot. The Port of San Diego's two cruise ship terminals are located on San Diego Bay's Embarcadero, a two mile stretch of downtown waterfront offering dining, shopping, lodging, museums, attractions and more, all with an amazing view. The majority of cruise ships dock at the larger of the two piers, the B Street Pier and Cruise Ship Terminal. The USS Midway Museum towers over the port and it looks like an active naval vessel. You can go onto it and see the planes and views from it. Next up, we took a ferry to Coronado Island. The journey by ferry to Coronado Island is half of the adventure. You will really feel like you are headed to a tropical island. Make sure you head over there during the afternoon so you can get great views of the city passing by. There are so many activities going on in the water from the big naval battleship to cruise ships having on-water parties to little sailboats zipping by. These are the things you'd expect to see in some overpriced private club, but it is all here. This is the best $5 per person I have ever spent. Alright, so the ferry's stopping and we're about to get off at Coronado Island. So backdrop by the gaze of the San Diego skyline, Coronado features a fabulous little peninsula with a collection of specialty shops, art galleries, and restaurants. Originally known as the Old Ferry Landing, visitors and locals come to enjoy the palm line pathways and open air amusements. It feels like a new and different city the same way Key West feels different from South Florida. When I talked about moving to San Diego, somewhere on Coronado is certainly where that feeling hit me. Whether you're hungry for fresh seafood or California cuisine, there's a variety of fine dining and casual eateries to choose from. Spend some time at the waterfront park to fish off the pier, relax in the grass, or build a sandcastle at the beach. Or you could just lounge under a tree and watch as the many different boats travel in and out of the bay. This is a tourist gold mine. We ate at Paiowe's restaurant. I couldn't wait to see what fresh local seafood would taste like. The sushi was okay, but unfortunately, the shrimp linguine that I had was not the most tastiest shrimp I have ever had. Maybe I was expecting too much, but even the steak was weirdly cooked. The server explained that they cooked steaks by the roast, whole. 
Then they slice the roast as customers order steak. We were pretty disappointed, and I know when I come back, I will not be going back there. Daytime on Coronado Island is beautiful, but to get the full effect of the aura of this island, you have to wait until nighttime. Just looking at the city from across the water is amazing. You can really just sit on the beach and chill for hours. This view rivals places that are well known for this type of atmosphere. Here are a few fun things to do in Coronado Island during the summer. Coronado Ferry Landing Summer Concerts, where you can listen to music from 2 to 5 p.m. every weekend during the summer. Boating, you can head to the Glorietta Bay to rent sailboats, speedboats, water skis, jet skis, paddle boats, or kayaks for water playtime. And there are many more things to do. The cruise back to the larger San Diego was just as beautiful to watch, but after a full day out on Coronado, I was just ready to get back to my hotel. I had plans of going back to the gas lamp district, but that was going to have to wait till the following night. I was beat. In San Diego, the people ride scooters through the streets with the same speed as tuk-tuks in Asia. This city makes you want to avoid ride shares and shuttle buses. Everyone is outside. Scooters are parked at many different points on the street. People hop on them and off of them whenever it suits them best. The scooter I used was called the Lime Scooter. I hopped on it to go to the supermarket. After setting up my car, it was really easy to use. I paid a total of $3.64 to go about 8 blocks. The turn up on the weekend in the gas lamp quarter will remind you of the French Quarter in New Orleans or Ocean's Drive in Miami. I had to put my camera away and just get my fun on. I did not want to point a camera in everyone's faces while they were getting drunk and doing their own little two steps. But that brings me back to another thing I noticed all over the city. This is apparently a place for interracial relationships. I've never seen so many mixed couples in my life. I'm sure someone in the comments would tell me that what I saw was an illusion, but my eyes couldn't have been possibly lying to me so often. The best part about this getaway is I was able to pay for it using the profits that I've been earning by being an independent travel agent. Using the combination of planet marketing and IntelliTravel is the best way I have found to make an extraordinary income while doing what we love, traveling. Join me and you'll be able to work from home or any location in the world on a part-time or full-time basis just using your laptop and cell phone. There is no experience necessary. All of the training is provided by wonderful people who already have amazing results with helping families financially in the travel industry. So if you also love to travel, trust me, this will be a no-brainer. Watch the two videos in the link and contact me to get started. If you just want to take a trip to one of these laps of luxury, let Passport Kings be your agent. San Diego is high on my bucket list with places that I want to revisit. I'm thinking that the next time I take a cruise, perhaps to the other side of Mexico, I will sell a lot of San Diego, but give myself a few days before the cruise or a few days after to explore more of San Diego. I really want to see the spots that I missed. It'll be two cool vacations in one. As exciting as LA is, I am more looking forward to revisiting San Diego the next time I'm in California. The world has plenty of amazing places to visit, and although the US can sometimes seem like a nightmare politically, geographically it is still a very beautiful place full of one-of-a-kind landmarks. You don't always have to explore outside of our borders to see this world's beauty. Take a look at the wonders that you have in your own backyard like a king of Passport Kings. Peace.